All right, so now you need to create a subfloor. By now you should have got your stumps on, on. We need to put some bearers on and floor joists on. Now you'll be given a set of bearers. All right, obviously they're easy enough to do. They're going to be 500 millimetres long. But you need to do at least one join. Okay? So one join on top of a stump. Now, because stumps come in, come with spikes on them, what you'll need to do on each of these, just tap in a 40 millimetre nail. Because we want to do this like it is in real life. Now, because we want these to sit in the middle like that, we need them to cross over. So we can't just have them butt against each other. So what we'll need to do is cut a bit out. So what you'll need to do is come back five millimetres. And back on this one, five millimetres. Then we'll just cut halfway down. Should be able to snap off, might go a little bit further. And the same with this one, down five, down halfway. If it doesn't come off, you're gonna have to use the chisel. That should just pop off nicely. So then those two pieces will sit. Oh, that's not very good, Robert. I might just fix this one up a little bit further. That looks a bit better. Because what we want is we want the whole of the stump. Should be a third and one third and one third. We still want the whole of the stump over that. So. Now that I've got that there, what I'll need to do, using a pencil, I'm going to line up where my spikes are. Two, three, four. And that one's going to go there. And then using a decent sized drill bit, you want it fairly big, just drill your holes. Now what we can do is put them over. Now as you can see, you've still got a bit of an overhang here. So what you all you need to do is mark it here. Mark it here. And cut them off. Cut them both off together. So it should be about 500 millimetres long. Once you've got your bear on, remember this one's easy. 
Remembering that it's 15 mil, it's 15 millimetres across here and 19 here. So they are a not quite square. So make sure you know which way you're going. 15 millimetres across, but it's 19 millimetres down. Then with all the nails, spin them over. That holds that in place. Now when you go to do your floor joist, one of the things you're going to need to do is calculate how far apart your floor joists are. When you go to do a floor joist, I'll set this one up here, on here, once again you're going to be using some 40 millimetre nails, but this time we're going to pre-drill a hole. There's no way that nail's going to go in there. So using a, there's a nail with a head off it, just pre-drill the hole. Then with a 40 millimetre nail, you should be able to nail all them on easily like that. So I think it's every 100 millimetres. Double check your spacings. It is, it's every 100 millimetres is your spacing, so that one can go there. So this is how you nail on your joists all the way down. So, once again, these ones are simple enough. Hit all your nails into your stumps. Go and put all your nails into the stumps. Set these up. Cut them to the correct length. Mark off where the mark off where you've got to drill a hole. Put the nail through it. Bend the nail over. All right, and you need to do a, a crossover on this one too. Remember, five millimeters this way, five millimeters that way. And then once you've got all your bearers down, nice and straight. Next is to put the floor joists on.